What is up guys, Strafe here, giving you guys a brand new golden MP7 gameplay, and in my last video I promised you guys I would give you guys a gold MP7 commentary, and I finally got this gun gold. It took about a few days, but I finally got it, and here we go. So anyways guys, I want to get right into what I wanted to say. MP7 is a pretty cool gun, a lot of my friends had told me I should use this gun, and I finally listened to them. It took me about 8 prestiges to finally listen to them. But I think it is a good gun. I use kick on it. It's very accurate. Some people just put range on it because it has like no recoil on it at all. So either or it's still accurate. So you can either use kick or range on it. It's still a good gun either way. And I prefer to use silencer on it. I don't really use a lot of guns with silencer to be honest with you. I think that this is the only gun in the game that I use silencer on. Maybe the ACR once in a while because of course in Modern Warfare 2 the ACR was known as being one of the most accurate guns in the game where it would basically be described as a laser because right as you shot the ACR in Modern Warfare 2 it'd go right in a straight line no recoil at all so this game they did make it with a little bit more recoil but it's still not too bad it's still pretty accurate but I do think that the damage is a little bit less than what it was in Modern Warfare 2 so Anyways guys, I want to get to what I left off talking about in my last video, and that is Microsoft points, and how Xbox might take them away at the end of 2012. So I told you guys I would give you my opinion on it, and what I think about that, and to be completely honest with you guys, I don't like that. I do not want them to get rid of Microsoft points, and there is a big reason for that. I have been using Microsoft points for a while now, it's been years, you know, I have bought downloadable content like map packs. I've changed my gamer tag with them, bought gamer pictures, and just a bunch of stuff like that, and many other people have too, and not everybody puts a credit card on their account, and there are a few reasons why. One main reason is because simply parents do not want to put credit cards on kids' accounts because the majority of Xbox Live players these days are kids and teenagers. Sure, adults play too, but most of the time it is kids and teenagers that I most likely run into on Xbox Live. And the kids at our age don't really have their own credit cards, so most likely they depend on their parents to get to get a credit card on their account. And if they do, some kids don't realize, you know, it is a credit card, but it is still money you get charged at the end of the month, so they'll just go on a huge shopping spree on the Xbox dashboard, which isn't good. And I'm pretty sure some kids have done that before. So, let's bring another reason into this. Another big reason why I will not put a credit card on my Xbox account is because social engineering is still a big thing. It is 2012, but there are many account hackers or people who take accounts, and yes, it is not just you giving somebody your password, and it's not your computer being key logged, and people can just see your passwords from that. No, it's social engineering, and if you don't know what social engineering is, it's basically fooling an Xbox Live representative um, you know to giving them your password or a password reset and like I said I kind of miss miss said my words a little bit social engineering isn't just about fooling an Xbox live representative it can just basically be any type of person who works for any sort of network into fooling them into believing that you're not them into giving you a password that is not actually yours and this has been going on for years actually there have been probably hundreds to thousands of accounts that have been hacked over this you know many original gamer tags with simple names um, very popular people like popular youtubers celebrities even xbox live employees i mean stepto has been jacked major nelson has been jacked trixie 360 has been jacked many halo 3 mlg pros such as t2 is ripping uh, so many more i can't even name all of them but a lot of them have got their account taken, and that does suck because they put a lot of, you know, they put a lot of time into their account to get a high rank, to get a lot of achievements unlocked, and there's much more to say in this, but still, in 2012, Xbox security is not 100% perfect, and you know, you can never make something 100% perfect, but it's still at the point with me that I will not put my own credit card on an account. And possibly, I will put a prepaid Visa card that I can just go out to like Walgreens, put money on it, and put that on my account if I want, or I'll just put that on my PayPal, 
and nowadays you can attach your PayPal to your Xbox Live account, which I still do not do because I'm very skepti skeptic with security-wise on Xbox and really with anything. So I'm really hoping that in 2012 or in the next Xbox coming up, they are going to make Xbox security better. It's unfortunate that many people have had their accounts taken, and I have had my account taken before back when I was new to Xbox Live, but it wasn't there, It wasn't for social engineering. I was stupid enough to give somebody my password like an idiot. They said that they would get me like a higher rank in a game, and I believed them. This is when I was like 12 years old, and I had a, you know, a very, very light voice, so it's pretty easy to trick considering I didn't know that people could just get your account and change your password, but I have talked to many people who have done this stuff, and they're coming up with new methods all the time to trick Xbox Live employees and security to get password resets, so I'm really hoping they fix that. It is unfortunate, one, that somebody does get their account jacked in the first place, but two, if they take your account and start charging money on your credit card, that is even worse, worse because one, you have to take it up with Xbox, and you have to try and get your account back, and then you have to get in touch with your credit card company and say, my account has been stolen and somebody has been charging money on my credit card. And most of the time, they do not get caught, which is the crappy thing. And, you know, if anybody who takes accounts out there hears this, I'm not trying to talk bad towards you. I'm just putting out in general why I do not put a credit card on my account. It is as simple as that. So, anyways, guys, I want to get into another thing. Maybe by next October or November of 2013, they are planning on releasing the new Xbox 720. And that is pretty awesome. I'll send you guys a link of that in the description. And that is what I'll be talking about in my next commentary. So stay tuned to my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leaving a thumbs up or a comment is always appreciated. This is Strafe HD, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Peace out.